there's just so many dupes. I just don't see the point anymore. The way I drive, the shoes like to do a little tumble around sometimes. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. So in today's video, I wanna talk about luxury items that I don't regret buying in 2023, but I had the thought to maybe purchase and now I'm so glad I didn't. So first on the agenda are, I don't know the name of these, but it's the Louis Vuitton like 3D movie glasses type sunglasses. They've got like the crystal little Louis Vuitton like emblem in the middle. I thought those were so cool when they first came out and I really wanted to buy a pair, you know, when I was having my like sunglass existential crisis this past summer and I like could not find sunglasses that I liked for ages until I got my Dior classic oversized square ones. And I thought these were just so cool. They were like a different square shape, super oversized, but honestly, I've seen them on so many people now. Like some people can really pull them off and look super, super cool and just super like chic and all that. But I feel like for me, they're maybe just a little too obnoxious, a little too loud, even though I like the most obnoxious, like large sunglasses, for whatever reason, I was just like, honestly, and I think they were also a thousand dollars. And I was just like, for sunglasses, that's kind of ridiculous. And I will not be doing that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I didn't purchase those. I think they're cool still when I see them on people. But looking back now, I'd honestly rather spend that money on a pair of shoes that are like, wow, you know, than sunglasses that I'm just always going to have to baby because they were so expensive, you know? And like a lot of the time I like to clip sunglasses on my shirt or I put them in the car and like sometimes I bend over and they fall on the ground and like just thousand dollar sunglasses doesn't really equate with like my lifestyle, even though I like the designer sunglasses. I did buy another pair recently, which I'll have to share with you. Next item on the agenda is when obviously you start earning money in real estate and you see the commission coming you kind of want to buy some like expensive workwear and all that and i did do some good purchases this year i still need to do a workwear lookbook for you guys i'm so sorry i just feel like for it to be good it has to be in daylight and i'm always working and then on the weekends sometimes i just don't get the energy to film until evening and that's why i haven't done it I still need to do that but i did buy a few nice pieces from elizabetta franchi and maj for suiting for work I love all of it gorgeous 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 but one of the things that I did want to buy was a ball man suit, like a blazer and skirt set. But honestly, I just feel like they're not as popular anymore. And also, I just feel like there's so many dupes. Like there's so many companies now online that have the exact same look for like a fraction of the price. And I mean, I don't need to be that flashy at work either. Like I like buying stuff that I really like and it might look expensive and it might be expensive or it might not be expensive and look expensive, you know? And I just don't really need to have something that says like ball man on the buttons and get the recognition for that. And also a lot of the stuff that I like is all gonna be tweed and Dubai is very hot. Dubai is very hot. So I just don't really see that crossing over to be something that I would get the cost per wear out of. I still think it's stunning, but I know like the classic tailored Balmain blazers, they're not as hot as they once were. I think they're still definitely timeless, but you don't see them as heavily as you used to. Like they used to be all over Instagram, like every fashionista was wearing a Balmain blazer like everywhere. And I just feel like they're not as much in anymore. Not that I didn't really care about trends and all of that. Tweed, Dubai is hot, really expensive. And there's so many dupes out there that at this point, I'm just not really bothered with the original. I've had this happen before where I've worn like nice expensive things to work and I've been asked like, oh, is that from Zara? And I'm like, it's actually Jonathan Simkai. Imagine spending the money for Balmain and then you are mistaken for like Zara or, you know, did you get that on Sheen or Fashion Nova? Like something like that, you know what I mean? Not that I would buy it for like the clout, but also I wouldn't want to be mistaken because there's just so many dupes. I just don't see the point anymore. Hope that makes sense, you know? Next item. I actually sort of bought these and then didn't buy them. These are the, I think it's the Versace Medusa chain link sandals. I always thought these were just so cool. And when like the chain trend was a whole thing, I know these were really big and they're still released by Versace. A lot of the time they're still like full price as well. They're still in the boutiques, I think. So they're always on like Farfetch and online fashion websites as well. So I know they're still like current with the brand and they're kind of a staple. But I was loving the ones that had the crystals on them. 
But then I was like, honestly, I just probably would never wear those to work because they're just so extra. And also I wouldn't want to like damage them and have the wear and tear, you know, by like wearing them to work. It doesn't make sense. But then they're also very expensive. So I kind of want the cost per wear. So it kind of like juxtaposes, you know, one another with these pinions of mine. And then also I found a pair and they were like 50% off on level shoes. And I actually ordered them online and then they contacted me and they were like, they were actually really cute. They were in like a blue, like a light blue satin. Even though my brain was telling me light blue satin, if that gets dirty, good luck. Like, you know, you're out to lunch. Like, what are you doing? Bought them anyways. 50% off, thought they were super cute. They had the crystals all over them as well. And I was just like, whatever, I'll wear these to work. I'll make it work. And then the lady emailed me, or she didn't email me, she WhatsApped me. And she was like, I'm so sorry, but these aren't actually in perfect condition. I just have to warn you if you still want them. And there was like, um, there was a scuff in the back of one of them. And then in the front, there was like a, like a small like line of dirt. Like they hadn't been like properly cleaned or they couldn't be cleaned. So it's clearly a pair that someone like returned and they'd clearly been like worn or something or damaged somehow and got dirty. So I was like, okay, no, we'll just return these. And that's how I got the Alexandre Vauthier purple strappy sandals that I showed off in one of my, um, my most recent shoe haul I've done on this channel. Maybe the only shoe haul I've ever done on this channel. So I got those instead, love them. They're so iconic and you can't really tell what brand they are unless you know you know the, that brand of shoes and everything but i don't care i just think they're fabulous gorgeous and the condition of them was perfect at the end of the day even though something's on sale you're still spending good money on it and it should come perfect right another item that i'm glad i didn't buy was these are actually new season i tried them on i was looking for mules for work because i really love the look of a mule i think they really elongate your legs and I love some of the mules that I have. I went and tried on the Valentino One Stud mules and they're cool. Cause like, if you know fashion, you'll know they're Valentino. They have like a big Roman stud on the back and they're like a chunky heel. So I thought they'd be comfortable like for work and stuff. And I wanted like a white heel just to kind of mix it up. It was also springtime and no, it wasn't springtime. It was September, whatever. <laughs> and um, it's always springtime in Dubai. But I tried them on and they were really, really nice. Like I was like, oh, these are like a sexy shoe, but they're not like a high stiletto. I could probably last all day in them. But the, the front strap over the toes was so tight and rigid. They're patent leather, but like patent leather doesn't really stretch that much, you know? And the lady in the store was like, oh yeah, they'll give a bit, but maybe not too much. And I was like, honestly, I think as well, they were like 4,200 dirhams, so definitely over how much is that that's like fourteen hundred dollars canadian for a shoe and i was like first of all they're white second of all they're really expensive third of all they're not even comfortable at all so i was like i'm just not even gonna go there because if i wear shoes for work the second i get in the car i take them off i put them in the passenger seat the way i drive the shoes like to do a little tumble around sometimes and i just don't think the idea of having white shoes like that you know, or if I do just decide to keep them on and drive, that's also not safe, you know, just for the sake of preserving the shoe. It's just kind of a recipe for disaster in my mind. And I don't see the merit on spending that on like a basic white leather mule that just has a gold stud on the back, you know? I think if you want like Valentino, there's so many other options, but I also think like if you have the funds and you like that style, then definitely go for it. Just for me, I was like, mm, it's such a basic item that I'd rather spend this on something else, something more exciting, something more wow, you know? Okay, next one. I don't really have too many bags. I'm glad I didn't buy because for a while, honestly, bags were just like so boring to me. Like everything that was really trending and you know, like those Prada bags everyone was wearing, the nylon ones, the kind of slouchy, like moon looking bags. I just wasn't feeling that style. I've never been like a Jacquemus bag person either. All those like trendy ones, you know? And I just felt like everything was kind of getting overdone. So other than my Lady Dior bag that I got, with the, what's it called? The diamond macroconnage something. Uh, I'll link that below if you want to see the reveal. It's really, really gorgeous. I love it so much. That's like a wow bag for me. I just didn't love anything in terms of bags, but there was one bag that I was kind of seriously considering because it was one of those ones that was like, a, what if Prada stops producing it? Because it's not a hot bag, but it's a bag I've always just loved the style of. It's the Prada Cahier, Cahier, 
bag. I'm probably slaughtering that, but I've always just loved the look of it. I probably tried it on in Prada boutiques like three times on separate occasions over the last like four years. And for some reason I've never bought it. I just feel like it's a bag that it's only a shoulder bag. And I like to sometimes have, you know, a handle with a bag or like put it, you know, on your wrist. And it's only, only, only a shoulder bag. And it's also not super current. I don't really care about those things. I was also thinking, well, if I really suddenly had an urge to get it, I bet you I could probably get it from like a luxury reseller for a fraction of the price because it's not like a hot it bag anymore. You know what I mean? Like it's not like you're gonna go and buy a Chanel flap on resale and you're gonna still pay a premium. Like it's a bag that kind of had a cool moment a while ago. No one's really wearing it anymore. You can still get it from Prada, but it's not hot. So if I really wanted to, I could probably get it from a reseller for like a decent price. Let me know if you guys have this bag, if you love it, what you think of it. It's like complete opposite from all the other influencer or cool girl like Prada bags we've seen in a while. But I still, that's one of them that I'm like, mm. one day, one day I'll just buy it. One day I'll just, I'll just get it in my collection. You know, why not? Here's another item that it's actually, I didn't mention it before on this channel, I don't think. So I'll just mention it now because I'm glad I don't own one because I probably wouldn't wear it. It's the Hermes like H belt. I remember like ages ago, everyone was wearing those belts. I know some people still wear them and like no shade. If you love it, wear it. But I just feel like they had such a moment. They were like such a thing. If you didn't want to have a Gucci belt, but you were like really bougie, you would wear the Hermes belt, you know, and that was such a cool thing. And now more people are wearing like the Kelly belts. But yeah, I just feel like it's kind of a whatever one. Like it, it never really was something that intrigued me so much. Like it's just a big H and it was never something that I really loved. I like the belts that I do have. And again, like I maybe wear a belt to work like once a week because some pants I have don't have belt loops or I wear a skirt, you know? So cost per wear, like not really there. I'm not really like crazy about it, but yeah, that's one of the belts. And then also I had a moment where like I really wanted a Versace belt as well because I just thought they were like really cool, like the Medusa head. But lately I'm just kind of, yeah, I, it's just so flashy to me. Even though I love certain things from Versace, I have like weird moods where I'll be like, I don't want to be flashy. And then other times I'm like, yeah, let's be flashy, you know? But I just feel like for me and my life, when I'm not at work, I'm not really wearing belts around. Like I don't wear jeans in Dubai really ever, ever, ever. Okay, and last item, this is kind of more niche. So if you're still watching to the end, I love you. I'm really curious to know if you are still watching, if you like this brand, if you know this brand, it's Eero Paris. Uh, it's a French brand. They have it in Mall of the Emirates. I think in Dubai Mall as well. They have it on Farfetch. There was this suit and I loved it so much. You know why? I'll put pictures because it reminded me of this the one that got away, it was a Missoni bikini. It was white and gold, like this print that they do that's like not their typical chevron print. And I just loved it so much. And then it sold out and it, I can't find it anywhere for ages. It was the one that got away. And then I saw this suit and it was just like that Missoni pattern. It reminded me so much of it. And I was like, this is gorgeous. I tried on the jacket in the store and it was just so lightweight. It looks like a tweed, but it's actually like a very lightweight like knit material and it had a really cool fringe to it and then it had a matching skirt but it even went on sale on farfetch and then it was like an extra 20 percent off and i had that that item and the skirt in my cart for ages i think the skirt is still in my cart no i took it out recently but the reason i didn't get it even though it would have been a good work piece is just because the skirt itself was First of all, the suit in total, even on sale, would have been like almost $800 Canadian. And the skirt had this like ruche on the side, which kind of made the stomach area, like it was not the most flattering. And I was like, I don't want to spend this much money on a suit and feel self-conscious the way it sits on my body, you know? So I was just like, I don't think it's worth it. I still love the jacket. The jacket is still on sale on Farfetch. If anyone's interested, I think it's French 36, but I'm a 30. I'm a 38 in the jackets, or no, it was 34 they had. I'm between a 36 and a 38. And then I was like, if I just buy the jacket, what am I gonna wear with it? Cause like, yeah, I would have to buy some like linen looking pants or something. I'm not gonna wear gold pants to the office. Like it just wasn't really meshing well with my wardrobe and what I had already if I just got the jacket. But still, I hope it doesn't become another one that went away. 
but for now i'm just kind of like no, I'm glad I didn't buy that. So anyways, guys, let me know if you have bought any of these items. If you love any of these items, let me know what items you are glad you didn't buy in 2023. I think that's it for now. I'm surprised the list is so short because <laughs> there's definitely a couple of things that I maybe wish I bought or could have bought, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I love you. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing for more fashion and beauty and Dubai lifestyle content. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.